Adobe Illustrator is a very interesting and complex program. It allows you to create many wonderful things as well as confuse you when you have no idea what to do with it. So the first project we're going to be doing in this class is how to create a sphere using Illustrator. Um, shape is one of the elements of art and with a sphere you're creating the illusion of a three-dimensional object from a completely flat two-dimensional surface. So to begin you have to start go to File New and make sure you have one artboard title your project and this is just going to be uh, eight and a half by eleven I'm going to have it be landscape and hit OK and what pops up is your artboard the artboard is like a blank piece of paper that allows you to create whatever you want to create so to start a sphere first you have your selection tool and you see all these other tools here on the side you have a direct selection tool which allows you to select certain points of an object uh, several other different types of selection tools a type tool a pen tool which allows you to draw certain objects lines the rectangle tool eraser so on and so forth and what you'll notice is in most of these they have a little triangle at the bottom. That means that there are more tools hidden within that specific tool. So if I click and hold, I can choose the ellipse tool because I can see that it's hiding in with the rectangle tool. So what I can do is click on that little arrow and pull out the, all the tools. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw a sphere. Now, as you can see my cursor on the blank page, all I have to do is click and drag and I have a sphere. But it's not perfectly, it's not a perfect one yet though. So what you have to do is hold the shift key on your keyboard and click and drag and you will have a perfect sphere. Now you'll notice that it's black and white and you can see it's black and white because up here it's black and white. We have our black outline and our solid white insert. So I'm going to go to my selection tool and click on that and click off. And now the sphere is deselected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a solid color to fill my circle just for the sake just to show you what it looks like. But there's still a black outline on it which I don't want so I'm going to remove that outline by choosing this box right here which allows you to select nothing. So now there's nothing on the outside. Now our sphere is just a flat circle. This is a, a two-dimensional circle. This is your basic shape. It's the element that we're talking about, just a basic shape. We want it to look at, make it look more like a form. So to do that, select your circle and come over to the right hand side of your page where you have other tools to play with. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to click on gradient. And the gradient allows you to give depth to your object. It would be just like as, as if you were shading a sphere in drawing class. You start with your lightest to your darkest. But this is much faster and much easier. So we don't want it to be linear because it still looks flat, but what we need to do is choose the radial option. And as you can see, we have a black and white sphere. I don't like black, it's boring, so we can change it to a fun color. And you can add other colors in here by just clicking on the line. You can really make it pretty interesting. So, I'm going to minimize that again by put, clicking on these arrows. With my selection tool still on, I'm going to click in the white so I can see what my sphere looks like. 
and the light source right now is hitting it straight on. So it looks more three-dimensional, but we need to give it more of the illusion of a sphere, like what you would draw in drawing class. So I'm going to select the sphere again, and now I'm going to go to the left side and choose the left gradient tool. And from that, I'm going to click and drag on this little circle and make this point right here be my highlight. See how it drags the white part, the lightest part, up to the point? So the light source is coming from the top left, hitting the top left of the sphere. Go back to my selection tool and click off. It looks more three-dimensional. So now you have to, we well don't have to, but we're going to create a shadow to make it look like the sphere is sitting on something. So to do that, we need to go and create another sphere. So making sure that you're not selected, clicking in the white or the gray, you go to your sphere tool again and go up to your color and choose black. Now, last time we held the shift key to make a perfect circle, but we don't want a perfect circle. We want a squished oblong circle. It's just an oval, I suppose. Now, if we leave it like this, it doesn't look more like very much like a shadow because it's sitting in front of the sphere. So what you need to do is select it and go up to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. When you do that, ta-da, it goes behind the other object. Now it looks like it's falling into a hole. So the way we make this look more like a shadow is to blur it. Now you can blur it, you can turn down the opacity by going here. But see, that just makes it gray. So how about we go to Effect and Blur and choose the Gaussian Blur. Now we have the option to preview what we're doing. And you can see, there's your shadow. Adjust it as needed, make it bigger, smaller, however you need to do it. Depending on your light source. And there is your sphere and your shadow. And now what you can do is you can use a line to draw a background. If you hold the shift key, your line will go straight across and up the stroke a few points. And select it, object, arrange, send to back. It looks like a horizon line. Now you can be as creative and fun with this as you want. I've had many people create gumball machines and um, worlds, do a bunch of outer space scenes. So be creative. When you're creating a sphere, you don't have to just make a bouncy ball. You can make anything that your imagination takes you to.